Good afternoon, class. I'm Dr. Kent Weyer. I've been your instructor this summer for Foundations of Educational Leadership. I want to uh, first welcome you to the class. I guess we're at the halfway point, so that's kind of a moot issue at this point. I do want to thank you all for all the work you've put in so far with all the submissions. Uh, I know that the, the front end of this class has been heavy on writing. Uh, there's still some writing left to do this week. I hope you have uh, enjoyed at least taking the opportunity to reflect on the different assignments where you look at yourself through the eyes of the ISLIC standards, through the leadership principles, and uh, see, you know, just think about what school leaders, effective school leaders should be, what effective school leaders should look like in comparing, comparing yourself, thinking about yourself, thinking about leaders that you have worked for. I, I find that to be a valuable thing as I as I set and prepared for the class in May for this June class, uh, you know, after my 37 years, 20 years as a as a principal and four years in the district office, I still gain a lot by doing that self reflection. So we have one week left of assignments, and then the fourth week, I want to talk. The main reason about the video, or the main purpose of the video today, is to talk about the fourth week. The final project or the final assignment, it's not really a project. The final assignment is a video submission. We want you to, to create a video just like I'm doing right now. Something as simple as this. It doesn't have to be a presentation uh, unless you think this is. It's not. So it doesn't have to be a presentation. Uh, just create the video along the same vein as if you were teaching this to an undergraduate student or you were just having a conversation with another teacher, but you were the mentor and you were the person that uh, had the knowledge or you had the skill. So uh, I want you to create a three to five minute video. That's your final. And there'll be written instructions here as well. But create a video. I'll get, I'm going to give you an example. You can choose any topic that you want. You can talk about all the topics or multiple topics that that we covered during the course of the summer, that during the course of June. Uh, you can pick one topic and talk about it. So uh, here's an example. I'll start off as, you know, and just give you a quick look at maybe what this might look like. Yours will be better, of course. Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Kent Weyer, and this is my final submission for the course Foundations in Educational Leadership. Today I want to talk about the ISLIC standards. And one thing that I, that I learned here in June about the ISLIC standards is how school leaders need to take the view from the balcony. It's a cliche, I know, but uh, take the view from the balcony as, as opposed to taking the view from the dance floor. And how do you do that? You do that perhaps with looking at the ISLIC standards. So when we when I say this, I think about, I look at things typically through Kent Wire's lenses. I look at things through my experience. I look at things uh, based on my values, my thoughts. Those are Kent Wire's views. A leader can't always do that. If If everyone in the community thinks the same way that you do, if everyone acts the same way and, you know, has the same views or values that you do, then you'll get by just fine. In a multicultural society with a lot of diversity, we need to take that lens, put on that lens, and say, look at our stakeholders through the ISLIC standards. So with that idea, you look at things and say, is this, is what we're doing meeting the vision and the expectations of the school board, the vision, the expectations of the community, the vision, the expectations of parents. Is it meeting the vision, the expectations of all stakeholders? Okay, put on that lens. Is what we're doing being respectful of the diversity and the different cultures of the community that we deal with? So you get the point. So I would take that video, I might take that topic and talk about how to look at things through the eyes of a leader using the lens of the ISLIC standards versus using my own personal lens. So that's an example. You could do uh, take this last topic and talk about teacher evaluation. You could talk about our last uh, topic here that we talked about in week two, uh, looking at the article about the effectiveness of principles and, and how they how the principal actually affects the academic performance of a school. Your choice. So just want you to practice speaking 
practice speaking to a webcam as your presentation, as you, you being a mentor, college teacher, whatever the opportunity would be that you would have this occasion to speak like this. As always, uh, if you have questions, email me. I'm going to put my phone number on this one. So if you have questions about calling, you'll need to submit this via Google Docs. Excuse me, you'll need to uh, submit this to me on the Google Drive. It'll be too big of a file to submit by email. You need to open up that drive, sh save the, the uh, video in your drive, share it with me at the email that I share with you in Canvas. All right. Hey, thank you very much, class, and I'll talk to you soon.